happy 4th of July. Hope everyone is having a great day so far and that you're going to spend some time with some family and friends or go to the beach or do whatever you want to do today. Relax or whatever. I just hope you make it great and enjoy the time with whomever you want to spend it with. Me, myself, we, if you can guess, <laughs> of course, are having a barbecue as usual the um guys are setting up the tables now in the backyard so yeah it is early because i wanted to get this thing started early because i know we got more people coming so yeah we rented some tables and chairs like we usually do when we have a, a big one like we're having a big one like family from both sides and just friends you know whatever so anyway the um rental company setting up the the um uh tables and chairs as well as the um uh what you call that thing bouncy housey thing for the children uh that should be coming in a few minutes but my husband and um a couple of his friends are out there anyway so you know they can take care of that while I um, get myself ready. It is actually 8.30 a.m. And I am starting early, like I said. And um, I just want to pop on here and give a video or do a video on what I am inspired to call a 4th of July look. So it's going to be real simple because, you know, I'm having people over. So I don't want to be real extravagant. Not that I can't be because I can't. But I'm just going to do like um, a red, white, and blue. That's it. I mean, I, I you know, I don't even know what I'm going to do or, um, you know, it's nothing special. That's all I know. I'm basic. It's basically what I'm trying to achieve here. Just to have some makeup on. Red, white, and blue. And some lashes. Because, you know, I can't go without my lashes. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this uh, tutorial of, like I said, I don't know what I'm going to do. So, all I know is that I am going to use this palette again. Um, this palette really came through. I, I just, I like this palette, y'all. So, you know. And also. So my sunglass giveaway is still going on just go on over to Instagram under the post that says surprise giveaway and it'll give you all the rules and you can enter if you like it is over on Friday so yeah and that was not my 1k giveaway my 1k giveaway will be up and posted by Monday because I wanted this sunglass one to be over first so by Monday what's Monday five six seven eight on the eighth Monday the eighth um, at my regular video time, the giveaway will be posted. Um, and it's, you know, of course, that's a YouTube. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and see what I can create today. So, um, yeah, I'm only going to use red, white, and blue. And I'm going to just stick to this palette, just whatever. They have a red one, of course, because I did a pride look with this palette. And if you have not seen, I will go ahead and link that uh, above in the cards. And, yeah, so I'm probably going to use this red. I'm going to use this white. And here's a blue. It's not matte. It doesn't matter. Um, so, you know, I'm just, it's going to be really simple, y'all. That's all I'm going to tell you. I'm not trying to go over the top because I'm going to be out there with people and it's going to be hot. So, I don't want nothing real fancy dancing you know what I'm saying and then I'll probably use this too right here probably use this white and this white I don't know if you can see those but the two whites in there the red and the blue so let's uh go ahead and do this um let's see I've already prepped my eyes and things like vault I have not prepped my face for foundation or nothing yet I didn't put on my moisturizers and and, and um enhancers and all that stuff yet i just prepped my eyes and that's the only thing um so let me go ahead and i think i'm going to go ahead and start with my this is the morphe m513 brush it's from the um um 25l live in color set and palette and i guess i will go ahead and start with this red here um I don't even know what I'm trying to do. I just know I want to do. Or should I do blue? Or should I do blue first? You guys. You know, I don't even know what I want to do. Um, Whatever. I'm just going to go ahead and get this thing popping. Go ahead and use this red right here. And let's do this. Um, I, but uh, Yeah. Whatever. I'm just going to take it here. Oh, you guys can't see. Let me I'll pull you up just a smidge. 
all right i'm just going to take that red right there and i'm just gonna you know just bring it across in the crease and then slightly above the crease is what i'm doing in the crease and above the crease crease Alrighty, that's all I'm going to do is that right there just to get some red uh, right up in here again I have no idea what I am going for but it's gonna be easy bring that right up in here crease and slightly above little more just want to pack it on a little bit first before I get the swing in this brush back and forth like a windshield alrighty see in the crease and slightly above mm-hmm in the crease and slightly above trying to bring it up a little bit just to fade out that red towards the end just want to fade it out a bit up top there fade it out damn these colors are pigmented um i mean i knew that but looking in the camera sheesh they really did their thing on this palette i and um you know this one and the 39s palette and the all the jaclyn hill palette all the Morphe, those are all the Morphe palettes I have. So I have all the Jaclyn Hill palettes and I have the 39S and I have this one. So, um, what's that? The Vault had four and her other one, five, six, seven is all I have from Morphe. No other palettes. Um, and the 39S I have not even opened or used yet. Um, but you know, I'll get there. I'll get there because I have, I just, I don't know, haven't used it yet. All right, so this is looking a bit good to me. Like I said, I just wanted to diffuse those edges a bit. I could have went in with a clean brush, which I probably should have. But, again, Tanika's not going for perfection here. Just enough to look cute so all my guests can be like, Oh, look at you, girl. You know, that type of thing. But I do appreciate you watching. And while I'm talking here, y'all, thank you so much for the 1K. I am so, so happy about 1k you guys so so happy um that i have it and again you know as i say in other videos and you know i was thinking i was gonna start focusing more on um watch time and trying to get it all done by the end of the year um because my year is up in december i did my first video posted december 23rd of 2018 so you know december would be my year this year um but you know what i don't think i'm going to focus on i just got to watching more and more videos um you know because i watch a lot of videos on how to increase but a lot of that stuff it just seems like we're all already doing like all of us that's on youtube that's trying to build doing so it's just a matter of being on here getting people to watch and however long that takes is however long it takes period you know what i'm saying so i'm not even gonna worry about it if it doesn't happen till next year it is what it is you know because i'm still gonna make video whether even if one person watches this video i mean i'm still going to do the videos because it's what i enjoy i'm here all day you know i, I don't work so I have nothing to do so I decided to start the channel um to give me something to do sort of like going to work but I'm not getting paid but that's okay so you know just gives me something to do a time schedule just something to stick to you know LA girl what is it LA colors concealer concealer this is in the color medium and I'm just going to go ahead and take my angle brush and go ahead and cut it up cut that creases just add a little bit of the color to the brush is what I do on both sides I just try to load the brush I really should not be free handing this because I got hooded eyes I should be putting it in the middle and looking up so I can know where my placement needs to be but 
Again, y'all, I'm not trying to be perfect today. I talked to you uh what was it i don't remember but we were talking about some things some movies and tv shows has anybody gotten into claws that i wasn't into it claws on tnt with niecy nash and karushi tran i don't know the real names of the other people but uh you know those two are the main two that someone may know um you know as far as their real names but Claws is a great show. It's not all about nails. It's a lot more than nails, you guys. A lot more uh, than nails. It's nails, drama, murder. It's every category you can think of. That's a great show. And Power is soon to be coming on. Power on Stars. You know, 50 cent, the 50 Cent Show, although he's not there. But, you know, Power is my show, too. Um, and, yeah. And as far as the movies, we are caught up i believe um we are going to go see spider-man probably over the weekend uh we saw toy story has anybody saw toy story 4 oh my gosh you guys mm, i don't want to give it away oh, oh toy story oh toy story 4 you have got to go see it whether you have kids or not <laughs> toy story franchise is great you guys it is great and um Toy Story 4 did not disappoint. You're going to love it. I can't say nothing. Just, you know, because I don't like giving endings away. I know people do, but I just can't do that because it's not fair. And, you know, I don't, well, me, if it was me, I wouldn't mind having a spoiler because I don't mind spoilers on a lot of things. But, um, you know, I'm not going to do that to some people because, you know, my son hates spoilers. So, you know, there's a lot of people out there like that and I'm not going to do that. So, yeah, but um, Toy Story was great. And, yeah, other than that, we are all caught up. Now, I think I might be the only wor one, the only person in this world that does not want to see Lion King. Like, the cartoon was great. It was amazing. I watched it all the time. When my oldest son was um, young, we had the uh, tape and everything of it, VHS, for you, you know, new people or younger people that don't know. There was no DVD then, so, you know. Anyway, so we had the um, VHS back then, so yeah and um yeah i, I don't want to see it i mean i'm sorry everybody wants to see it i don't care about all the stars that's in it i just don't want to see it i just don't i don't nope not interested my sons want to see it i said guess what you better take him alone this time because i'm not going to watch it everybody's probably gonna leave me hate mail aren't they because i don't want to see it i'm sorry i just don't anyway so now i'm going to go ahead and take the um milk is the white one in here this is right here i don't know if you're gonna be able to see it but it's the white pure white milk so yeah lion king no thank you i don't have a real reason why i don't want to see it i just i don't know i'm not into seeing animal movies like that i'm just i'm not okay this is not working out the way i thought not at all. I thought. Hold on. Um, no. I think I may need to pack it. Maybe if I pack, 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 maybe it'll work. But I wanted the lid area to be white, you guys, like white. Okay, it's starting to do a little something now, y'all. Just got to pack it on there. A little too high there, people. Well, see, unless you know that. Makeup doesn't always work out.
You do go through some hiccups sometimes, y'all. You go through some hiccups. Dang it, I took it a little too high. Too high. Even though it's, you know, sticking better, it's still, to me, not looking white, white like I wanted it. But, again, you know, I'm not going to a makeup convention. So, it doesn't have to be spot on. But most of the people that's coming to my party, family, and some friends, they know nothing about makeup. So, as far as they're going to know, it's supposed to look like this. <laughs> So, you know. So, I'm good either. Now, I am going to um, go ahead and probably put some pigment on top. Because I just swatched this Liberation color. And, um, can you see that? This Liberation. And it does not stick or show up very well. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and just take some of this um, Appeal pigment in, y in Pearl White. Looks like that. It's pearl White Appeal Cosmetics. Got this in probably a lashy box, I believe. This pigment is doing a great job. I don't think the camera's picking this pigment up, but this is doing a good job to really spruce up this look for real. Now I'm going to go out here and look like a beauty queen. I wasn't trying to go this glamorous, y'all. But, you yeah, know, it is what it is. And yeah, so I don't think I'm going to add the glitter uh, liner like I Because I don't feel like getting out the glitter. I have a silver glitter, but uh, you know. I don't think I'm going to go that far. But anyway, yeah. And see, this really helps to spruce up this white now. Now, this is what I'm talking about. We love you, America. Bend those edges right on out. All right, now you girl happy. So, I know you're wondering about the blue, since I said red, white, and blue. But I'm actually just going to add the blue underneath the um, waterline to give it my blue. The red, white, and blue. So, um, I will be wearing these um, Shop Miss A, AOA Studio Premium Faux 3D, I mean Faux um, Silk Lashes. This is in the style Olivia, 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 something, whatever her name is. And they look look like this. I'm going to be putting these on. And I will go ahead and continue the rest of my face, including the blue. And um, I'll see you when I'm all done. So, yeah, like I told y'all, I just, I didn't want nothing real fancy. Just some real basic so I can, you know, be put together for my guests. And, yeah, you saw when I did the eyes on camera. And I just added some of this, um, the blue in this palette that I used, the Morphe palette. The blue I used was called Rise Up. This one right over here. It's the satin color right here. Very pretty, very pretty. And, um, yeah, that's all I did. Just a basic red, white, and blue. Just like I told you guys. And I put um, some pigment on top. Let me bring you guys up a little closer so you can see what it looks like. Alright, and so, yeah, and that's it. And I just put on a basic uh, red lip and red... Um, lip liner the nyx lip liner in hot red and then the uh mega wet and wild mega cat suit in uh fierce i believe it's called um i used it in my pride um uh tutorial so if you want to know the color it is listed there um 
but yeah and so yeah this is everything and then with my hair i washed my hair yesterday because i knew it was going to be the fourth of july and i wanted my hair to be nice and you know done and looking good look how defined these curls are can you let me bring this up to y'all gotta bring you in for all my naturals out there this hair or not this hair my hair and i didn't use any hair paint or nothing like that because i wanted to see how good um these products worked on their own and yeah look at this can you see I hope the camera is, is uh, look at those curls. Look how defined this is. I just took my hair right before I came back to the video. And these things are defined. I have a little straggler pieces, but that's okay. And, um, yeah, look at these curls. They are so defined. So freaking defined, you guys. Really, really nice. I really like um, the way this, this is a twist out, by the way. Um washed my hair yesterday and did a twist out and again i did not use any um of the hair paint or anything like that i just wanted to be all me all black and i don't even mind <coughs> the shrinkage which is not really even that much shrinkage shrinkage you guys because as you all go uh, know that my goal is not to have super long hair i just wanted to remain healthy and look cute that's basically um this is probably like the third time that i got my hair cut to this length i do not want it to be past this length i don't like it on my neck and you know when it shrinks up um it's good for me because you know it's not on my neck and i love that especially in the summertime because i do not want hair all on my neck and i am so hot then you gotta wipe and that's not for me i mean everybody else to each his own i love looking at all these beautiful women with long hair that's absolutely fine but it's just not me again like i said before in another video my hair has been long forever so when I decided to just keep it always at this length, never past my shoulders. Actually, never pa I don't want it past here. Like, past my ears is really where I don't want it. Well, maybe your chin. I don't want it past here. But anyway, I just don't want it on my neck. So, anywho, y'all. Um, yeah, so once it starts growing again, it will be getting cut. But anyway, um, I used to get this defined, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful twist and go. Um, I said twist and go. <laughs> this twist out i use um like i told you in another video which i just used the revive spray but this time i use the um revlon realistic black seed oil designed for natural hair um the strengthening shampoo and strengthening conditioner conditioner the um shampoo is sulfate free and the conditioner is intense moisture and they are this line is so cheap you guys do you see that 6.99 is where i got it like i said i got it from my local um beauty supply i didn't go to sally's or uh, walmart or anything like that i got this from my local beauty supply it's a black owned beauty supply and um yeah these products are amazing let me show you one at a time this is the um shampoo and yeah awesome and the conditioner awesome and then for my styler i use the strengthening uh twisting pudding flake free looks like this these products are so cheap i mean 6.99 um dang the uh, everything and like i said i bought everything he had um that was in the store as far as the line which is just the four products which is these three plus the plus the revive spray that i showed you in a different video um and yeah and this is what i use this is the only thing i use to <sighs> just these three products i didn't use any gel or nothing just man look at this Ooh, and this is first day hair so i didn't want to pick it too much i mean i picked it at the roots but that's about it thank you thank you thank you so much for watching everybody i really appreciate each and every one of you and thank you again for the 1000 subscribers my giveaway will be announced on july 8th um at 11 a.m when the video is um released to the public so again happy 4th of july and i'll talk to you in the next video bye